Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Techie Tuesday. This week I'll be showing you how to access and navigate your Google account profile, how to find the settings, how to change your profile photo, and change any information you need to. First off, we're going to start inside of Google Chrome. When we're in Google Chrome, you can see at the very top bar, this will be your search bar, and then towards the right hand side, you're going to see this little icon. Now depending on what your photo will be, this would either be your initials, it could be something that you've added, it could be your profile photo, but this little circle icon will be where your Google account lives. Go ahead and click on this little icon and it's going to pop up with your account. This is showing you which account that you are actually on. As you may or may not know, you can have multiple Google account profiles. You can use any Gmail account that you have to create these profiles. Starting off, we're going to go down to manage your Google account. If you have any questions about your Google profile account, you can search into this Google account search bar here and it will bring up any recommendations or answers to your questions. Go ahead and click on personal info in the top left corner. This is all of your personal info that you have added. This is where you'll go to change your profile photo. When you click on change, all of these different options will pop up. There are tons and tons of images generated by Google that you can use. And you can also search here at the very top if you're looking for something specific. But again, the true purpose of this is just going to be your visible icon and is more so used to differentiate all of the different accounts that you may be working with. So if you're using your work email, go ahead and find a photo that will remind you that this is your work email account versus a personal account you may be using. You can also upload your own photos here like I did mine. I uploaded my headshot. You can upload any photo from your computer. And these three little dots are able to see past profile pictures, help and send feedback. And then down below you can change any of the other personal information on this page. I'm going to go back up to this little icon at the very top right. Now I'm going to click on customize profile. Customize profile will take you to this page where you're able to again pick your avatar, your profile photo, and also pick a theme color for this Google Chrome profile. What this will do, as you can see, I have orange here. This will change the very top of your Google search, as well as any little accents throughout Google Chrome. When you click a new color, it'll change that color everywhere. You can also change your Google profile name to help you better differentiate the different profiles that you may be working with. So for example, you can name them work and personal. You can name them after each of your different emails. And on the left-hand side, you're able to further go into each of the settings and customize your Google Chrome profile how you prefer. For example, you can also find your autofill and passwords if you're looking for a password and you're just not quite sure what it is. You can go into your Google Password Manager and see all of the passwords that you have saved with Google Chrome. Now again, keep in mind, all of your settings, your bookmarks, your passwords will be different based on the Google account profile that you are using. If I switch over to a different account profile, that other account may have different bookmarks and passwords, which is good if you're running two different businesses or if you have a work or a personal account, it keeps everything very separate. Next, I wanna show you again, top right corner, click on that icon. Down here, you can see that other Chrome profiles, these are the other ones that you have logged in on on this device. You can also add a Chrome profile, open a guest profile, or manage your profiles. When I click on manage your profiles, this is typically what you'll see. A lot of you, if you're using the computers in the town hall upstairs in the 1604 office, you may see a lot of our different agents have their Google Chrome profiles saved onto the computer. Highly recommend to not keep your profile saved. The reason for that, like I mentioned, I would be able to click on either of these without needing to log in, and I would be able to access bookmarks and passwords specifically for each of these profiles. So after you're using a public computer, no matter if it's here at the office or outside the office somewhere, always make sure to go in and delete your Google Chrome profile. That way no one else can access your information. To delete that profile, you can click on the very top right corner, then you can go into edit or delete. And it will take you into the last section I was showing you where you're able to customize the photo and all of your settings. And delete will take it off of this page where no one will be able to access it. In the bottom left corner, you're gonna see a guest mode. Guest mode allows someone to use Google Chrome without being logged into Google. This is beneficial if you're using your computer and a client needs to access it or log onto their email. You can have them go into guest mode, that way they are not gonna be able to access any of your email, your information, any of that. To give you guys another example of how Google Chrome profiles differ, as you saw in my work email here, I had all of my different bookmarks saved and the actual Chrome profile was green. When I click into this other profile, 
I'm able to see that it is dark mode as well as I have no bookmarks here at the very top. And the reason for that is I have not built out this profile at all. I have not added those bookmarks. So what that means is I'm not able to access all of the bookmarks and the passwords from my last Google profile. Again, this makes it really easy to keep things separate between work and personal. And if I wanted to access all of those bookmarks, I would just go back up to this little icon and then I can switch back into my work. As you can see, it went back to light mode and you can see all of my bookmarks are here at the very top. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week's video. We'll be diving even deeper into Google Chrome, showing you some more tips and tricks. Stay tuned.